my name's Charlie Waite and I'm a landscape photographer and I've been photographing the landscape probably for 35 years. The illustrated book market was very alive and well in the 80s and the 90s and throughout that period I used a Hasselblad camera. It was the only camera for me because I, I never even considered using another one and partly because I knew it was dependable and that mattered an enormous amount. I was able to put a Polaroid back on, I could put a film back on, I was very quick at you know, um, working out the exposure and the whole business of using the camera was, was a pleasurable experience, it wasn't just a tool and that me meant a lot to me and I got to know it really well, you know, hundreds of thousands of rolls of film went through these two bodies and then the D word suddenly arrived, the digital word. And a very big part of me resisted that, and I knew I wasn't on my own. Whilst we might have had other brands, we still felt that that was our kind of baby. All Hasselblad users, I think, felt that, and probably still do today. Putting it in the attic was an option. It was a rather sad one, but it's one that I took. Then, in very recent months, I heard of the CFV 50C digital bank with this astonishing sensor. To begin with, I didn't believe it. To begin with, I thought, yeah, 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 it's just kind of marketing speak. It can't, it can't have nearly 14 and a half stops dynamic range. It can't deliver that kind of resolution and definition that I remember enjoying from a, a roll of Velvi or Ektachrome 64. And so I've acquired one and I have absolutely no regrets. The aesthetics of the camera, it continues. And will I carry on with film? Probably, but nothing like as much. I just was hoping, when I learned more about it, I discovered this was the case, that you just put the back on in exactly the same way as I used to put my A12 backs on. Exactly the same. And then when I looked at the, the, um, the cost implication, to begin with I thought, well, it's quite a bit of money, but people spend money on cameras, and why not? And then I thought, well, wait a minute, what would I have spent? What would I have spent if I bought hundreds, thousands of rolls of film over a two or three year period. And of course I realised that the expense on the film far right way the cost of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the bag. So really, in a very short space of time, uh, I'm going to find that actually, although this may seem, I'm saving money. And the other thing that mattered to me a lot was, hold on a minute, it's not square. It was always square, that was the joy. I could crop in any way I wanted to go from the rectangular familiar 645 type format to the square. And I think that's, that's a huge relief to me because that's like coming home. So the entire package, I almost feel I was waiting for it. I've had it for a, a, a few weeks and I already have developed a love affair with it.